Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Bassa, and welcome to another interesting episode where we discuss on some interesting updates. We start with Marcos Alonso as we are going to discuss on three options manager Xavi could turn to if Alonso departs Barcelona this summer. We are going to discuss on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about Joao Felix as Liverpool are seriously showing interest in the Barca target as Laporta and Co are desperate to get the deal done as soon as possible. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. If you're just coming across the channel for the very first time, you are very much welcome. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Over the past couple of days, there has been a lot of chatter about the future of Marcos Alonso at FC Barcelona with Manchester United showing an interest in signing him. United are in the market for new left back following Luke Shaw's injury and have narrowed in on Marcos as one of their options. Recent reports suggest 32-year-old Marcos Alonso has been offered a two-year deal by Manchester United, who have also sent in a formal proposal to Barcelona to sign the veteran on a loan deal. The situation is far from ideal for, for, as you know, Barca, as they would have very, very little time to replace Alonso. But his wages mean that his departure would come as a boost on financial fair play for Barcelona. Given the circumstances, the La Liga champions could look for in-house solutions to address the left-back position. Alejandro Bade is the undisputed starter for Barca, but if Marcos Alonso leaves the club, they will need a backup to cover for the 19-year-old. As such, Sport is now reporting that the Barca manager could turn to three players to fill the void that Alonso would leave if he moved to Manchester United. The first and most obvious option would be the incoming Joao Cancelo. The Portuguese, who is so close now to joining Barca, is being brought in to reinforce the problematic right-back situation, but he can be equally effective on the left side. And so Xavi could count on the 29-year-old to provide cover for Balde when required. The first team manager could turn to Barca Athletic in order to replace Alonso with new signing Gerard Martin being an option too. The 21-year-old joined Barca's subsidiary squad this summer itself, arriving from Cornella and played the full 90 minutes of their opening game against Logrones. He can also play at centre-back and is good at getting forward down the left flank. Another player that Xavi could count or could turn to from the Barca Athletic ranks is Edu Sanchez, who also signed his summer this summer from Badajoz. The 18-year-old starlet is rated quite highly and may be an alternative for Barcelona, you know, if Alonso does leave the club. Of course, Marcos Alonso's future has been, they were head, have been making headlines these past few days as the player looks as though he's going to depart Barca and coming as a little bit of a shock as he just extended his contract earlier this year until June 2024. And now, talking about Barca trying to cash in on him, it might come as a surprise. But when we look at his, up, his performances on the pitch, he has not been that convincing. And many fans are not so much in opposition to this idea of selling Alonso. Of course, Barca are hoping to make a huge net profit from the player. We quite remember that Alonso joined Barca last summer as a free agent from Chelsea which therefore means that any amount that Barca can, can get from the sale of Alonso will be registered as net profit. And that in turn 
will have a huge positive impact on the club's financial fair play. So uh, Manchester United has been the most talked about club showing interest for Alonso as it looks as though he might join the club in the Premier League where he came from, from the Premier League at Chelsea last summer. And of course, Xavi Hernandez is having headache, having to decide how will he cope now with the left-back position because Alejandro Bade is the first choice left back, as we all know, and his backup, who is Marcos Alonso now, who is really, really linked with an exit. It will, it therefore means it will be problematic. It should be problematic because apart from them, there is no other left back that we have. Jody, Jody Alba left to Inter Miami earlier on this summer, of course, which means that Bade and Marcos Alonso are the two natural left backs that we have in our ranks and now selling the backup left back in the form of Marcos Alonso would definitely become a big problem. Xavi Hernandez therefore will have to dig deep into how he's going to cope when it comes to having a backup left back for the young Alejandro Bade. So let's see how the week will look like. Then on to the final story of discussion, a report from Ebola has affirmed that Liverpool have set their sights on Atletico Madrid forward and Barca target Joao Felix as potential replacement for Mohamed Salah. Reports suggest that Salah is being counted by Saudi Arabian giants Al Ittihad, who have presented him with an enticing five year contract worth more than 100 million euros per season. Of course, indications are that the 31-year-old forward has expressed his desire to make the move, prompting Liverpool to initiate preparations for his replacement. It is no secret that the only reason why Felix is still an Atletico Madrid player today is because he is waiting for Barca to make a move. The Portuguese international, who spent the second half of the previous season on loan at Chelsea, also has offers from Saudi Arabia, but he is more than willing to give time to Barca to sort out their finances. As far as Liverpool are concerned, his emergence on the radar signifies a potential transaction in the range of 70 to 80 million, underscoring the willingness of the Reds to loosen their pearl strings, thereby replenishing Atletico Madrid's coffers. At present, as many as four teams, including Benfica, Barca, Liverpool, Al Hilal, seems to be chasing their Joao Felix at Barca. The pursuit of Felix remains active but hinges upon the execution of departures from the well stocked forward lineup. So, guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye bye.